you did a lot of nonverbal acting in the office, which made your line stand out even more. Do you have any tips for nonverbal acting? Um, well, it's funny. I remember at first being nervous that my lines were cut, but I, it was explained to me that my face sort of said what my line was going to say anyway. It was a short response. And I totally get that. I think my, my response to that is be in the scene as much as possible, even if you only have one line or even if you have no lines, you are required to be a real person in a scene. So the first season, you know, Greg Daniels actually asked us to bring paperwork. So we were really working. So we really learned from that first season to like commit to whatever paper thing you're doing, whatever, or computer thing you're doing, or you're on the phone, whatever it is, even if people don't hear it, you're, you're working in an office and someone's some document documentary is interrupting you or like kind of intruding on your life. So you have to remember that that is always there. So just be fully, fully fleshed out, whatever you do. Um, I saw a clip of BJ Novak talking about uh, how much he loved his, one of his favorite uh, episodes was the uh, waffle or the George Foreman episode. And he said, because the cast made it believable. They made it see you. You all made it seem like it was something that actually could happen. When it is one of the most outlandish ideas, but right. you, you all did such a great job. And I think that that goes throughout the entire show. Well, it's was great that writing too. It's great writing because I remember that was the first episode where we saw Meredith's van. And I feel like, so there was some information that was imparted about this character and I wasn't even on the screen, but yet when the next time you saw me, you had a different, under, like a, a more of an understanding, which I feel like is so true. If you work in an office or if you work at any place where there's more than two people in the office or the place of work, you don't know everybody and you get information very oddly sometimes. It's not always from a conversation. In fact, it's really from a conversation. So I kind of love the way that my character in particular was revealed through the years. And I kind of love the, that they never really dropped that kind of peripheral um, vibe. I mean, not that I didn't have, there weren't some Meredith centric episodes, but really I don't feel like suddenly she was giving a lot of exposition or she seemed like a different character. Like I love that they did not jump the shark with Meredith. Yeah, I, I think it, the, your character stood true the entire time. I think so. uh, which was which was nice. I mean, even yeah. in the even in the the over, uh, oh, the scenes that were grand, like you know the um, uh, casual Friday where you really stood out. It wasn't overboard for your character. It was the standard for your character, which was natural. Right. This is yeah, crazy. 